Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. In the last chapter 4, we're going to learn about Thevenant Equivalent and also Norton Equivalent. Uh, but for our video here, we're going to focus on the on Thevenant Equivalent. What is the Thevenant Equivalent? Um, it says that any two terminal circuits like A and B here, uh, a linear two terminal circuits can be represents as a simpler version, which is Thevenin voltage in series with Thevenin resistance. Okay, so if you have any complicated or only a linear to terminal circuit inside the box here, it is unknown, you're going to represent this into a simplified version, uh, which is Thevenin voltage in series with Thevenin resistance like this. So the idea is to represent a complicated or any two terminals uh, linear circuit into a simplified version of Thevenin voltage in series with Thevenin resistance. So the aim is to find um, two things, the VTH and also the RTH. So from this simplified version, uh, the steps that you need to do is <coughs> First, you need to, uh, okay, before that, maybe we can focus on how this thing works. We have this RTH in series with turbine and voltage, and this is two terminals, right? A and B terminals, and we have some load attached to this. And you know that current will be flowing through this um, load, the load. Uh, okay, so what is I? And from your Ohm's law, you know that VTH should be divided by the series of these two. So you need to plus of these two. And you can get the I. Okay. Um, <clears throat> for this purpose, um, this one just to show you that what is current flowing through the load. So we are not focused on the current flow in the load, but what we're going to focus is on how to find the Thevenin voltage and the RTH. So if you have this type of circuit, what you need to do first is to remove the load. You need to remove this load. So first step is to remove the load. Second, when you remove the load, what happened to the VTH? Uh, VT shift will become something like this, right? And what left is only A and B terminals open. When you remove the load here, no, no, uh, there's no more load than only open circuit like this. So, how to find VTH then? VTH here, um, let me erase this part. Um, the first step is to find VTH. <clears throat> okay, and let me remove this. Uh, when you remove uh, VTH, current, what do you think current will be flowing through A and B terminals? Current will be equal to zero, right? So when current is zero, uh, do you think that there's voltage drop across RTH what I mean is this voltage drop through RTH RTH this is RTH right so do you think there's some voltage drop across RTH there is none right because I is equal to zero when I is equal to zero meaning to say uh, the VRTH will be equal to IR and this I equal to zero. So there's no voltage drop across RTH here. So what should you do is you need to first to remove our load so that this is an open circuit. And since it is an open circuit, there's no voltage drop across RTH. When there's no voltage drop across this RTH, then you know that the VTH here, the open circuit, V open circuit here, is actually equal to 
the VTH here. So, V open circuit equal to VTH. Meaning to say, uh, you just need to remove the load or making sure that this is an open circuit at the terminals A and B. Okay. So, second, your aim is to find RTH. So, find RTH. From this uh, figure, uh, you know that, that you need to remove the load first so that what left it, it is only these two the Thevenin voltage and the RTH okay so this is an open circuit and then um, how to find RTH when you have only these two left so you know that this is an open circuit if you turn on this part the VTH then some voltage will be flowing through this right but your concern is to find RTH or R equivalent from this side from this side view uh, through this terminal A and, and B so what you need to do is you need to uh, turn off turn off this VTH so when you turn off, you know that when you turn off VTH, you need to replace this to a short circuit, right? This one coming from your superposition uh, video. I already explained it. So this is a short circuit. So you need to replace this using short circuit. So to turn off a voltage source, you need to uh, replace it with short circuit. Okay. And then, uh, so what left on leader, let me remove this part so that you can see clearly, only RTH remain. So R equivalent here, uh, looking from this side, on the right side here, is actually equal to RTH. If you cannot imagine this, you can redraw this one and make it here. RTH. So what left? The R equivalent is equal to RTH here. Okay. All right. Uh, I think that's the main idea, and then you find uh, find value of interest, find VTH, and third find RTH. So basically, you need to draw two figures when this uh, load remove and Make sure this is an open circuit and uh, V open circuit is equal to VTH. And to find RTH, you need to remove the load. Okay, remove the load and then uh, turn off. Turn off the independent source. Independent source. To turn off a voltage source, you need to replace it with a short circuit. But to turn off uh, a current a current source, you need to replace it with a open circuit. Open circuit. This one short circuit. Mm, sure. Short circuit. Okay. Mm. Okay. We have two terminal circuit here. Uh, I see that this is not a complicated circuit, just a linear circuit. Uh, two terminals A and B. Yes, we have A and B terminals. So we're going to um, find the Thevenin equivalent. We're going to simplify, simplify this into two terminals. The RTH and the VTH. So since A and B is already an open circuit, there's no load attached to this. So we do not need to remove any load. Then what should you do? So the first aim is to find, always write your aim. Find what? Find your VTH. You can start with any anything that you like. So VTH is equal to this circuit, right? So let me remove this. And we know that V open circuit is actually equal to VTH. And you know that current through this is equal to zero because A and B is, is an open circuit. So how do you know that V open circuit here is equal to this? And you know that 
this is a terminal plus here and this is terminal uh, negative here so it is obvious that there's no voltage drop across 5 kilo ohms here there's no voltage drop across this so this plus signal here or terminus here is basically at this side all right then this is your vth and what is vth then vth is equal to oh before that i need to uh, remind you that you need to draw the figure of each so that i can give you marks even though this is an open circuit but sometimes you uh you maybe you wrongly pick your figure which one and which one so it's better to draw make a habit to draw uh, your circuit so vth uh, if you use the voltage divider vth is equal to you need this 50 okay and then since this is a voltage drop of your uh, v, vth or v open circuit just now we discussed then this is 20k divided by 20k plus 2k and you will get the answer 45.45 this one you can find using calculator and is it a positive or negative if you look at the sign this is a plus and this is also a plus so this one should be a plus so you, you don't need to write down the plus sign all right and then number two your aim is to find um, aim is to find rth so what how's the figures looks like you need to turn off the let me remove all this you need to turn off the independent source since we have a voltage source replace it with a short circuit so this is a shorted path and this is two kilo ohms and 20 kilo here and this is 5 kilo you have a and b terminals here looking from this side you're going to find the r equivalent so what is r equivalent always approach this method by <coughs> uh, solve the most furthest away from your terminals a and b so what should you do uh, solve the left side here first so you have these two since these two end to end connected they are in parallel so 2k parallel with 20k and plus with 5k and you will get the answer the answer is 6.818 kilo ohms using your calculator and always make a habit uh, you know that this is equal to rth right always make a habit to write down in this form this form so what is vth equal to 45.45 both and rth equal to 6.818 kilo ohms okay i think that's all and uh, thank you i think i shall give you another example okay uh, let's see we have this uh, two terminal circuits and a linear circuit a complicated i guess because we have two independent sources so how to find the tavern and equivalent of this circuit uh, then you need to first write your aim uh, aim number one be sure use black color to find vth so from this uh, figure you need to remove the load okay remove the load and what left is your 12 volt here sits here two and then sits four and terminal a and b because you already removed the load and then um what is your vth v open circuit is equal to vth and how to find this you can use your whatever method that you have learned previous in chapter one two three and maybe also four then you can apply this maybe you're going to find using source transformation because you are already learned it just uh, just now right then 
this part you can uh, transform so if you want to transform that you will have a current source going up and 12 uh, 12 divided by 6 going to have 2 and this is in parallel and you're going to have 2 here and 6 4 and then this is A and B terminals this 2 and 2 you can add so this one becomes 4 I will skip the, all the steps that I, I need to show you. So this is 4 and remove this part. This is what left. And then we can, because since they are in parallel, we can do the source transformation again. And this one will become what? This one we have 6 here. And this one will have a, a voltage. And this is 6 into 4, 24. Okay. And then this 6 and 6 you can plus. We will have 12 here. Okay. So the V open circuit or the VTH here is equal to what? You have VTH equal to 24. Sorry. 24 into 4 divided by 4 plus 12 and use your calculator you have 6 volt and is it a positive negative since this uh, plus sign plus sign here with plus sign here this one certainly is a plus okay what about rth all right aim number two is to find rth and from your figure on the left side here, yes, you need to remove this load. And what left? Uh, oh, by the way, if you want to find RTH, you need to turn off these independent sources. How to turn off voltage source? Replace with a short circuit. How to turn off a current source? Replace it with a open circuit. So draw that figure. Okay, draw that figure, and you will have shorted path here six and then open circuit no need to draw the open circuit because it will complicate yourself so only draw the figure that you want to see <laughs> and then looking from this side r equivalent is equal to rth and the approach is to simplify the furthest no, to solve first, the furthest away from your, the, your terminals A and B. So 6 plus 6, since they are in series, you can add. So RTH equal to 6 plus 6. And since this part is in parallel with uh, end to end mix, this 4, then you know that they are in parallel. So 12 parallel with 4. Use your calculator and you will get what? Mm, let me check. Get 3. 3 ohms. Okay. And always make a habit. The final answer should be in this form. The VTH is equal to 6. And this RTH equal to 3 ohms. Since this is the last answer, you need to draw back whatever circuit that you have which is including the load so what is i flowing through this load and you know that i is equal to vth divided by 3 plus 1 so uh, vth is equal to 6 6 divided by 4 is equal to 1.5 amps okay can you see it cannot then i change the color 1.5 ampere okay all right i think that's all that's how you get the current flowing through the load okay thank you